It is the first official day of spring break, and while hundreds of teens are trying to figure out how to keep busy this week, one group of high school students is continuing its education at sea. Christina Matisic explains. Hi, Suzanne. Suzanne. Hi. Hi, I'm Annalise. Annalise. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. It's the start of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity with a world-class oceanographer at the helm. Jean-Michel Cousteau, son of Jacques Cousteau, is in Vancouver to launch the very first lifeboat flotilla, an environmental boating adventure for high school students. They'll never be the same. They're becoming ambassadors of the environment, and as future leaders, they'll make the right decisions. This experience will change them forever. During the next five days, 200 teens from around the province will travel the Gulf Islands, learning about marine biology and environmental issues. I wanted to create an opportunity so that youth could have a direct experience with the natural world. There are a lot of young people who are concerned about the environment, and they often hear about it uh, through in school and textbooks, uh, but rarely do they get a chance to go out and have an adventure. Environment Canada and a number of companies sponsored the trip, but the students had to raise some of the funding themselves. We talked to them before the launch, and many said it's a small price to pay for what lies ahead. We're just going to be having a lot of fun, meeting a lot of new people. It's such a great bridge from from high school into, say, like our second secondary education because it's it's the courses we're taking here, and this is like actual hands-on experience of stuff we're going to be training for in college. This is um, our chance, our generation, to have the young generation come and uh, do something about our environment. And they'll learn to repair it from our mistakes. <laughs> Although the vessels will dock in Victoria on Friday, organizers hope this will be the beginning of a much longer journey to save the environment. Thousands of students across the country begin their one-week spring break. About 200 students from the western provinces in the U.S. are embarking on a once-in-a-lifetime experience. They are taking part in the third annual lifeboat flotilla. They'll spend this week in 15 sailing ships, exploring the Gulf Islands and ways to save the environment. Along to educate and inspire are several mentors, including renowned primate researcher Jane Goodall. I'm on this trip to learn about how we can treat the earth and how we can be responsible. Amazing people, amazing experience makes for um, something to look forward to. Me and my friend are going to save the world and because I want to meet Jane Goodall because she's my mentor. She's been my mentor since like grade three. <laughs> Bringing them together like this, it creates an energy, and we need that today. We, we get very depressed, however much we try to be hopeful, we get depressed, and something like this really serves to, to give people a, you know, a little kind of jolt of positive energy. Okay. This third annual expedition got off to an unexpected start because of today's windy weather. The students couldn't sail across the Strait of Georgia in a tall ship as planned. They had to take the ferry across to meet up with their boats. Late last month, 200 young people came together from across the country for a week of fun, adventure, and education about the environment. The man behind the effort, Jeff Gibbs, is our choice for tonight's Canadian hero. Here's Gibbs and preparing to send off his young crew. They spent a good part of their March break on a flotilla touring BC's Gulf Islands, learning about Canada's ecology, native fisheries, the impact of logging, and more. We've received tremendous goodwill from every corner of uh, society contributing to make this possible. And that gives me hope that we can uh, look at larger problems and, and develop creative solutions. Gibbs was about the same age as these kids when he took a boat trip that he says changed his life. It was a visit to South Moresby Island, back then the scene of protests over logging. He later traveled to the Amazon and to Borneo, building his environmental education. Working with young people on environmental issues became a passion. It also earned him a Special Achievement Award from the United Nations. And these youth here, they're going to go away from this experience into a host of careers as diverse as there are people. And they'll be taking with them an awareness of the natural world, which will manifest itself in the careers they choose and how they, they craft those careers and mold them to be more sensitive to the, uh, the limitations of the natural world. 
Gibbs' next project involves bringing young and elderly people together in what he calls an environmental alliance. He says he's having the time of his life. I'm living my dream right now. This is, this is it for me. Jeff Gibbs, this week's Canadian hero.